Imperial Holonet broadcast should play here at all times. No one's requested it for, well, ever. It's the law. Because today is Empire Day, celebrating the 15th anniversary of the galaxy's salvation. When our great Emperor Palpatine ended the Clone Wars and founded our glorious Empire. On Lothal, Governor Price has commissioned a parade. You heard the man. Raise your cups to Emperor... Empire Day was the day in which Chancellor Shiv Palpatine declared himself Emperor after the defeat of the Jedi and the Separatists in the Clone Wars. The Republic, a corrupt government that peacemongering senators like Pan Maeve, Bail Organa, and Mon Motha tried to protect, became the first galactic empire, only leaving the Imperial Senate as a leftover for the time being. It was celebrated throughout various empire worlds like Coruscant, its capital, and the Outer Rim. Places like Lothal and Tashbika had celebrations, the latter of which was where Ahsoka Tano was staying after she and Rex faked their deaths. It was also the time in which regional governors of the empire showed off their newest TIE fighters and work in their regional sectors. ATDPs and other Jedi Max marched in a parade to an upbeat version of the Imperial March, with a Holonet news broadcast showing Palps giving a speech of led without his scars sustained during his fight with Mace Windu. It was by the propaganda, it was decent to say the least. It was also mandatory to attend, as well as showing happiness, which Taskmaster Miles Grit was not afraid to enforce. However, the parade was attacked by the Lothal rebels during their search for Tsebo. Regardless, it was a fun holiday to celebrate. Even the people in the Outer Rim worlds found it underwhelming, despite propaganda for young other boys. But of course, the Empire was eventually defeated at Endor and Jocko, with the corrupt New Republic taking place led by Mon Moth. Yes. But still, at least the Empire is way better than the rebel of old witch white people for ruling over us today. Happy Empire Day, and please look forward to the day in which we will finally see them gone along with the long overdue Drangless 10 5.2 with Sucky Batch which is punctured and whoever will finally emerge from the monster dugout along with other games and minions that are still awaiting.